Hey what's up guys, Enan here from Udroid Mania, and today I have a requested music player comparison for you. If you've seen my Jet Audio Player review, then stick around, you don't want to miss this one. And we start the comparison off with Music Match, a player whose focus is on its song lyrics. As we jump right into the UI, you'll notice the ads right away on the home screen, so let's get rid of that. The UI is pretty basic and I can tell you guys right away that I noticed that some of my artwork is missing for my album covers. So let's go ahead and try and fix that. We'll do a long press on the album cover and select fix cover art. So as you can see guys, this is the reason that my covers are missing. Many of the songs that I have, especially my Latin music, it's just not there. This will be an issue for me later on. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the content filters guys, and I think that they've got everything covered, at least everything that you're going to be looking for in a music player. Let's get into the player UI, and when you first open up the player, you're going to notice that you're greeted by the lyrics to the, to the song playing, and I actually like that guys. In the trial version, you'll see that all the lyrics are there, but they're not synced to the music. Once you purchase the lyric package, they become synced. You also get tons of metadata, discography, all for $2.99. If you guys like to sing, even if you can't carry a tune, Music Match has a karaoke feature that'll let you sing until your heart is content. Try it out guys. And don't worry, in the paid version this all syncs up. If you're going to stick with the free version and you've got the patience, then you can manually sync up your music yourself. It takes a little time, but you'll get the hang of it. When it comes to the EQ, well, it's not included in the free version. You'll need to pay for that as well. It's $1.99. You can get yourself a 5-band EQ to control the bass, the mid, and the treble, along with 11 presets. There's not much more here, guys, but you're not buying this app for the EQ anyway. If you do splurge for this add-on, know that if you make changes in the EQ, you can save them to your own preset. You also have the option to communicate with Music Match but only to the tune of wrong lyrics and wrong sync through the app. I really enjoy this music ID feature. If you've ever used Shazam, then you know how this goes. Here's the twist though, you get the lyrics synced and in real time. I gotta say I was pretty impressed as I listened to the radio and watched the lyrics pop up on my phone. Nice work, Music Match. If you're like me, you're about sick of the ads right now. You can get rid of them, but it's got a hefty price of $4.99 a year. I've already paid 5 bucks, and that will put me at 10 For this app, I'm not quite so sure. I mean, this app is okay, but at that price point, I just I can't see it at this point. Trying to go through the purchasing process, I found that pretty clumsy. I didn't know what I was actually buying, so at this point, I just couldn't see spending the money. Up next we have Power Amp, and it's just that guys, it's amazingly powerful. It supports all the popular audio files, and it even has a 14 day free trial on the Play Store. You can play from folders or your library. It has lyric support and an amped up EQ. Oh, and did I mention the UI? Wow, now this is some eye candy for your phone. Let's start by looking at the EQ. It's got a 10 band optimized graphical EQ. And you're probably thinking, what's that skin I got on there? I'll tell you guys what that is later, but hang in there. These controls are easy to use, and you can set your music up just the way you like it. And when your EQ looks like that, who wouldn't want to tinker? Your options seem limitless in the settings. Now, I'm not going to touch on all of them in this video since this is a three app comparison. Hit me up in the comments below, though, if you guys would like to see a full review on this app and I'll get on it. What I will point out, however, is that if you need to update your metadata and your tags, you can't do so if your music is on your SD card like mine. You need to first move it onto the device into the specified folder, so it pays to keep that stuff clean, guys. Why don't we take a look at the lyrics, and you guys will see that Power Amp is integrated with Music Max, and you guys know I just bought that, so I'm going to go ahead and set it up to pull my lyrics from there. So let's see how things look. And there we go. The lyrics aren't synced with the music, but you know what, that's okay because I can scroll. When it comes to the content filters for your music, Power Amp's got you covered and then some. You've got all songs, and you've also got a grid view for albums, and I think this looks great. And then we have the artist view, which groups all of your songs by artist. You have genres, which is based on your metadata guys, again, so you need to keep that fresh and so clean. Then we come to your playlist that you've defined. Next we have your queued songs, I don't have any of those just yet, top rated, nothing there, and then recently added. And as I build out my library, I'll add these things in. And then finally we've got a folder view, guys. 
So let's go right on ahead and jump right into the look and feel. That's one of my favorite parts of these music players. Now, as I mentioned, I would tell you guys what theme I'm actually running for this. And let's go ahead, let's take a look. It's called Power Amp Magnolia, and you can find that in the Play Store. So go ahead and uh, search for that. I think I paid a dollar or two, and it was worth it to me. Under General, there's some basic controls there, and you guys can take a look at that if you download the trial. Next, we have Menus, and there's two options for your action bar. Under Player UI, well, that's where you tell Power Amp how to treat your music with respect. There's status bar notification, ask and you shall receive, do what you guys will. Last but not least, there's language. So many are supported, so hopefully you can find the one that you need. Now this next one is one of my favorite configurable sections. That's the album art. I love the fact that you can specify high res images here because they just look great on my Xperia Z2 on the 1080p screen. I mean, who could ask for more? And you know, for all us wannabe DJs here under audio, we can mix it up with our crossfades, fades, and gapless playback. Now this next one is a big must for me, and that's having a great looking lock screen when my music player is playing. Power Amp doesn't let me down. Next, I gotta talk about the skins. In the Play Store, man, they just keep on coming and coming and coming. Okay guys, and as you know, it was the review that I did on the Jet Audio Player that sparked this comparison video. I've been using this app for over a year now, and I gotta say guys, I absolutely enjoy this app. Let's take a quick look at the UI, and guys, don't forget, I already did a detailed review on this. I'll put the link down below. You can head on over and check that out if you need to. So just be aware that I am going to leave some things out of this review, out of this comparison, I mean. And that's because you can find them in the actual detailed review that I did. So as we're taking a look at the player UI, guys, what do you think? Do you like what you see? For me, Jet Audio has been the go-to music player app. It's got everything I like and then some. So let's start with the content filters. You'll notice the same here. You get an artist list view, which you can customize in the settings to your liking. Next, you'll have the albums view, which is similar to the artist view, but grouped by album. And in this view, I sort by the artist for easy navigation. What I like about Jet Audio is the fact that with a long press, you can easily update your album covers. And it's that simple. Click OK to save your SD card, and then wash, rinse, and repeat. Again. So I won't cover songs in this comparison because I think that you guys get the idea. Plus you can also check out the full review down below in the description. I don't have any folders or playlists set up but they'd be here. I can't say this enough guys, genres pull from your metadata so make sure that you have that stuff clean. We will take a look at the preferences. Your browser is where you see all your artists, albums, songs, etc. Make that your own. With the player UI guys you can set up the look for how your music appears during playback. Under background you can change the theme, I use auto there. Under playback, here's where you mix it up and make everything sound like one continuous melody to your ear. Go ahead guys, give it a go. Just hit me up in the comments below and let me know what your settings are here. And taking a look at the player UI, you can mute songs here with this first option. Next you can access the 10 band EQ and mess around here until it sounds just right. The presets are endless guys, wow. You can also choose the sound enhancers to apply to your tunes. Choose the Jet Audio sound effects and take a look at that. You can also choose the AM3D audio effects. Now those will cost you extra. It's got tons of presets there. And last we'll take a look at the Bonji OV DPS. And that also will run you extra so be careful there. Moving on to the lyrics, now there's no integration here, so this is going to be a manual process if you choose to go with lyrics. Next you've got the timer, I found that this comes in handy when you want to either start your music at a certain time or set it to end at a certain time. And then you get into preferences again for this particular song. And you guys have already seen this, so we don't need to go through that again. Alright, and last up you have the volume control, and that's Jet Audio. So you've seen them all guys, which one do I think is best? Which one has the biggest bang for the buck? Let's get into it now. We started the comparison off with Music Match, and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with their lyrical capabilities. If you enjoy singing along or just want to know the words to your music, then this is the app. Out of those that I tried, they just can't be matched. And when it comes to Power Amp, it's just that, a pure beast. 
It's got everything you can want and then the skins to match. For the few things that it's missing, it makes up with the ease of use and its friendliness with other apps. I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed this one. For me, Jet Audio is still a pretty good app. You guys know that I've been using this for the past year. It's my go-to app. And until today, I would say that it, it has everything that you could be looking for. But after this review, I gotta say I had to pass the gauntlet. I'm now a huge fan of Power Amp, and I think it just edged out Jet Audio by a nose. I think the skin and the flexibility of the Lyric integration did it for me, guys. So there you have it, Power Amp by a nose. So what do you guys think of Power Amp? Hit me up in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.